Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Larry Lurcy. Welcome back to the channel. I've had a bunch of people ask me about Luminar AI versus Luminar 4. What's the difference between the two softwares? It's not really an upgrade situation. They're kind of two different pieces of software. So what we're going to take a look at is the features that each one has and which one might be the right choice for you. If you already have Luminar 4, we'll try and decide whether it's worth it for you to pick up the new software in, with the AI or whether you're better off just staying with the 4. If you don't have either one, I'll kind of tell you the difference between the two to let you decide which one you want to get. We'll talk about the differences, bring them up on the computer, kind of show them to you side by side so you can see some of those differences, and then talk about the pros and cons of each. I'll even tell you how to get either one of them at a discounted price. So we got tons to cover. Let's get right to it and roll the intro. Alright, before we jump into the software itself, let's talk about what these two programs do. Uh, what is it that the AI does that Luminar 4 doesn't? And it's basically, as the name implies, the whole AI artificial intelligence thing, where basically this software is making a lot of decisions for you. Again, some of this stuff is done in Luminar 4. There is some of the same characteristics, but this AI version has a faster engine. It's supposed to do all this better, uh, more efficiently. That AI also comes into play when it's analyzing your images to decide um, which of the templates would work best for it. There are some things, as you will see, that are in one and not the other. The AI seems to have a lot more portrait-related features, such as the changing the eye color, um, changing body shape, and things like that. A lot of the landscape things are in both programs, but again, the AI version has some slight tweaks to it, which we'll take a look at as well. Another big difference is the type of things that Luminar can identify in an image. It can identify over 7,000 objects to decide where masks need to go, what effects need to be applied, things like that. So having this vast library in the AI where it can analyze your images more efficiently certainly helps. Also, the eraser and the clone stamp tools have been improved in this new software, allowing you to work on even more complex backgrounds when you're using those tools. There's also things like composition AI, atmosphere AI, so let's go ahead and jump into the software. All right, so here we are. I've got Luminar 4 here on the left, Luminar AI on the right. I can't quite get them both on the screen, but we'll jump back and forth so you can see what, what we're looking at here. First, I want to look at how they handle the files uh, up here. You've got just your library tab, which is kind of your more traditional type way of doing it, where you've got your different year folders or however you want to organize things in, in a drop-down fashion like that. In AI, you've got this catalog where they're all in here. You can go through and, and look at things this way as well, but um, this kind of throws a bunch of your recent images at you. You can go through and find favorites or ones you've edited, all that type stuff. But once you choose the image that you want to work with, then it's just a matter of going on into either templates or editing and uh, processing the image from that point. Let's take a look at the next big difference, and that is not really a huge difference, but kind of uh, the term is different, and that's the looks in Luminar 4. The looks are basically these presets down here where um, it's divided into similar ones that you can do, you know, different categories, street, landscape. Uh, within that, you've got all the different ones down here. Of course, you can save new looks and uh, even go through and get new ones. So you've got a whole bunch of different options in here. You've got your own user ones. So anything you want to do with those, it's it's right down here, but they're called looks. In AI, they're called templates. And it's really kind of the same thing. They're in categories like, you know, you may have over here, you would have landscape with all your landscape looks. In AI, you would have under landscape with all your landscape templates. So just kind of two different ways of doing the same thing. And both of them you can create your own and things like that. But uh, just different terminology. But these are basically the same. They're not the same templates or, or the same looks. Um, but the concept is the same. That Basically the terminology that a template is kind of a preset. A look is kind of a preset. So that's a difference between them. But uh, not really a functional difference um, to me. So let's jump into the editor, which is where you'll see some more changes. So we go into editing here. You will see that we've got a whole bunch of different categories. Let me switch this over 
on AI at the same time. You've got your up top here, we've got the layers. There aren't layers in AI. Instead, AI uses this local masking, which is kind of like layers. You can come in and add these different items to your image, these different processes. But we'll go into more in depth into that in other videos. But uh, here, you've got the layers up top. Here's your canvas where you're doing things like cropping and rotating. The, there's cropping and rotating over here in, in other areas. So it's kind of laid out differently. Now, when you get down to kind of all these nuts and bolts type of tools, a lot of it's kind of the same. We've got this essentials, creative, portrait, and professional. If we come over to AI, you've got essentials, creative, portrait, and professional. But instead of having them over here to the side, they've now kind of put it all into one list. Probably designed for you just to start at the top and start doing your workflow, you know, top to bottom. But uh, that's how they're organized here. So sort of different here. It's almost like they're in little groupings. Here they've been thrown in all together, which I don't know whether one's good or uh, one's better or worse, but that's just kind of what they've done. A lot of them you will see are the same. You know, you'll see things like... Um, AI Enhance AI Structure, and we've got our Enhanced Structure AI on this side. And these are going to have a more advanced AI system working them as far as how it looks at your image and decides what's needed. But you'll see a lot of familiar things. Color, black and white, uh, denoise, a lot of these same ones are here. Uh, you will see some things that are different. For example, if we come down, let's go down to the next one where you've got Sky Replacement, Augmented Sky. Here you've got sky, augmented sky, you've also got atmosphere. So there's going to be some extra ones mixed in here that will give it a, a different look. The biggest difference in these is, you know, if we come down here under portrait, we've got uh, skin, enhancer, high key, and here you've got it divided up a little bit differently. You've got face, skin, body, and this is where you find the things where it will, will shape the body, you know, shrinking a person up the skin where you're just working on the skin, uh, this face where you can do the light on the face, slim the face, you've got the eyes where you can change eye color. So it's a very uh, much more robust toolkit that you've got here on the portrait side, especially for some of this face and body type stuff. And then when you come down to the pro section, you will see um, a lot of the same things. You've got your dodge and burn and uh, the uh, super contrast which is, you know, they call it advanced contrast here, the super contrast over here, but you can see it's kind of a similar type setup. So not a huge difference in those. It's just a matter of you've got a few extra tools on the AI side, specifically here in the portrait category. Um, now you could certainly go through and find probably a hundred differences in the programs. I'm just trying to kind of show you the big differences that jump out to me between the two if you're trying to decide um, which one you want. If you already have Luminar 4, you can see that Luminar AI is a lot of the same types of things. They're just going to be a little bit better. You know, I think the templates work a little bit better. They seem to be a little bit faster. A lot of the tools seem to work a little faster. You've got some of the things like Atmosphere, if you like that, or um, again, a lot of the portrait type things which are added benefits in this. So making the jump from four to AI may or may not be worth it depending on what type of images and image work you do. Again, in both of these programs, you do have the ability of saving your favorite types of tool presets. Once you put a look together that you like, you can go under looks and save that new look or over here as a template, you can save that template and use it as a jumping off point down the road. So they both offer the same thing. And so, like I said, they both have a bunch of similar things in them. I think AI just has some extra bells and whistles that you won't find in four. So there you go. As you can see, they're both really interesting pieces of software. So I think the first question is, if you have Luminar 4 and you're wanting to get Luminar AI, is that worth the jump? Because it's not really an upgrade situation. It really is a totally different product, even though they're very similar. I would say you just kind of look at what those new features are and decide if you do a lot of photography of that kind. For example, I think there's a lot more portrait related things 
in AI. A lot of the eye color change, the body shape, face shape, those type things, which you don't have in Luminar 4. Uh, the landscape tools are pretty close back and forth. Again, the AI is going to work better and have some slightly better enhancements. It's going to work faster, things like that. But you could probably get by with your older version. Um, and upgrade later. But if you want some of those extra features or you're just one of those people that has to have the latest and greatest, it's only like 99 bucks, uh, less than that with a discount. So it's not a massive investment to get all the bells and whistles. Then you're kind of covered both ways. If you don't have either one, I would recommend going with AI over four. I just think it has uh, a better workflow overall. It's a little bit faster to work with. And I think just a few extra tools that would push it over the edge versus four if you didn't have either one of them. You can also use the discount code Larry Photo, which will give you a discount on either one of the pieces of software. So uh, that kind of helps make the decision a little bit easier as well, hopefully. So that's how I look at the two different pieces of software differently. Would love to hear your thoughts. Which one looks better to you? Do you own either one of them? Are you thinking about upgrading? Make sure you leave a comment. Let me know which pieces of software you're using or thinking about getting. Would love to hear your thoughts. But that's it for right now. I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.